Meat byproducts is a combination of ingredients. So it's not just muscle tissue, which is what you were used to seeing you know, on, on a plate when you order a steak or, or chicken. It also includes a lot of the organ tissues with it. So things like liver, um, kidney, and bone and cartilage. The muscle tissue is a great source of amino acids, of protein for building muscle. Um, but if you're talking about other nutrients that are also essential, things like your vitamins and your minerals and your fats, it's not the muscle tissue that actually has most of those, it's the organ meats. If you look at dogs in the wild and see what they would naturally be inclined to eat, the first thing that they try to eat are the organ tissues, things like your liver and the kidney. That's the first thing they go for. And when you think about, you know, why are they doing this? Why aren't they going for the muscle tissue? It's because that's where all the nutrients are. Even things like the bone and cartilage, those are natural sources of glucosamine and chondroitin, something that the dog would naturally get in their diet. So when we're developing pedigree, that's something, again, we think about because we're putting the dog first. It's not about playing to what the owners are really looking for. It's about what's really, really important for the dog. And that's the number one thing that we're paying attention to when we're developing diets. So for us, meat byproducts are an absolutely great way for us to meet their needs in a natural way.